Hi! In this video, we're going to be exploring using Voltage Modular to create envelope following effects, utilizing a ring modulator, and putting these things together to turn a standard drum loop into some really cool, crisp digital percussion. Everything I'm going to show you here today can also be done inside a Voltage Modular Nucleus, so if you have that, feel free to follow along as we go. Before we begin, let's take a listen to the final product so I can show you the end result. Here, I've got this cool dark dubby garage style thing set up, and this track right here is what we're going to use Voltage Modular on to turn into these really cool crispy digital hats. Let's take a listen. <laughs> If we solo it out and take a listen, this is the percussion sound. And what I think is really cool is without any effects applied, this is the original sound. Let's start things off on the simpler side and begin by talking about creating envelope following effects in Voltage Modular. So here I've got a pretty basic setup going. We can wire in the audio to the audio in and take the low pass out to the main output. So right now we just have a standard low pass filter. Now we can actually use the envelope generator to create an envelope following filter effect by utilizing the audio input as a gate signal. To do that, we can click on the left input jack here and bring another copy of that to the gate input. Then we'll take the envelope out to frequency mod one of the filter. Now let's adjust our envelope to something about like this and drop our filter cutoff down and bring in the mod amount. We'll do about 50%. If we make some resonance here, it'll be a bit more obvious. And that's a really easy way to create some envelope followed effects inside of Voltage Modular because you can send that envelope out to anything you want. Now, to get ourselves closer to that final result of cool digital percussion, we'll need to introduce a ring modulator. You might have used a ring modulator before because it's kind of a classic module to throw on percussion sounds. You'll take a percussion sound into a ring modulator, apply an oscillator, and you get these cool, kind of zappy, quirky, sci-fi space sounds. However, we'll be using a ring modulator with noise and some filters to create these cool, digital, crispy hi-hat samples out of any drum loop or any other audio source, really. Before we dive into that, though, let's take a moment to talk about what a ring modulator does. A ring modulator is actually a pretty cool device, and what happens is you take two input signals, and out of the ring modulator you get the difference and the sum of those signals while it negates the original. This is pretty easy to demonstrate visually, so let's take a look using some oscillators, a spectrum analyzer, and an oscilloscope. Here what we have are two different drum oscillator modules at two different frequencies. I have one at 300Hz, and then one over here at 500Hz. If we take the sine wave output and take a look here, in our spectrum analyzer we'll see this one comes out right here at 300 and this other one comes out here at 500. Now if we go back to the explanation of a ring modulator, if we put these two signals into it we're going to get a combined output of the difference and then the sum of these signals which is going to create a much more complex waveform. So with that in mind when we put these two through a ring modulator we should see a signal at 200Hz and then a signal at 800Hz. Let's test this out by plugging these in and taking a look at the output. Here I've also got an oscilloscope so that way we can see the combined output. If we take a sine wave you'll see it's just a regular old sine wave, but once we run these through a ring modulator we'll get something a lot more complex and interesting. This is going to be a little bit annoying so brace yourselves, but if we take a look we should see a peak at 200 and then see a peak at 800. Let's take a look. As we can see, we have one here at 200 and one here at 800. Now let's take a look at the oscilloscope to see what we've got when we put these two waveforms through a ring modulator. As you can see here, by freezing the signal, we end up with a really interesting complex waveform that sounds a lot more interesting than just a standard sine wave. Now this is all really cool sciencey stuff, and I don't think it's totally important to understand every single in and out of this process, but I think it's a good idea to at least have a base level understanding of what happens in a ring modulator and why. With all that out of the way, let's combine our envelope track filter effect with a ring modulator and some noise to create some cool digital percussion sounds. 
Back in our voltage modular patch here, I've got our envelope generator and filter, and I've added in a noise generator and a ring modulator. To begin using this, let's unwire the output here because we're going to be utilizing the ring modulator. In this example, we're going to be using white noise, and if you know about the colors of noise, white noise is equal energy across the entire frequency spectrum, and what this means is it's not really going to give us a great result with a ring modulator. Instead, we'll need to apply a filter to it in order to best utilize it. To do that, we can hold Alt and click on our filter to duplicate it, and we'll place it after the noise generator just to keep things nice and neat. Now, let's wire the bandpass output of this first filter into the X input of the ring modulator. Then we'll wire the bandpass output of the second filter into the Y input, and then we can wire the output here to the main outs. Now, we'll bring our white noise into the audio end of the filter, and then we can play our sound and start messing with the filter cutoff and resonance. Now we're well on our way to the final product, but to introduce a bit more interesting modulation, let's bring in an LFO, and then bring in another envelope generator and a VCA in order to control this and make it a bit more tight and crispy. Let's grab the mini LFO here, and we'll use the triangle wave, so we'll bring this into frequency mod two of the first filter, and then the second triangle wave to frequency mod one of the second filter. Then we can just adjust the mod amount to taste and slow this down quite a bit so we can get a really slow, subtle modulation being applied to the filter cutoffs. If we play this now, it should sound a little bit more interesting and have a bit more movement to it. Let's drop the resonance a bit. And adjust our mod amounts. Now to tighten this entire thing up, we'll introduce another envelope generator as well as a VCA, and that will give us kind of a gating effect to make this percussion loop tighter. Let's grab these modules and move them over out of the way. We'll hold Alt and click the envelope generator here, then we'll search for VCA and bring in an amplifier. To wire this up, we'll remove the output of the ring modulator and bring it into the input of the amplifier, and we'll bring the output of the amplifier to the main outs here. Next, we'll go up here to the audio in and grab another output from the left and bring that into our gate input here, then wire up the envelope out to the CV in of the amplifier. What we've done here is create kind of a final volume control, and we'll utilize the envelope generator to tighten this up by adjusting the decay and release times. So let's drop these down to something pretty short and take a listen. Now we've got something a bit more usable. To filter out some of that extra low end noise, let's duplicate our filter here and take this output and bring it over here to the high pass out, and then route the output of the amplifier to the audio end of the filter and adjust the cutoff to taste. And then we can bring up our volume here. And there you have it, so now you could save this as a preset and call it up anytime you need to create some interesting percussion for your next track. Just drop in a drum loop, throw on voltage modular effects, and away you go. So that does it for this video. For more information on voltage modular or to pick up a copy for yourself, you can head over to cherryaudio.com.